tribe i hope you guys are doing fantastic it's kareem mcgee hi so listen i want to come and talk to you guys just for a quick second okay it's about the video that i did with beyonce um that video let me just tell you something when i'm recording or i am doing a video sometimes you guys have seen me i've done it at walmart before while i was you know trying to get some audio um, sometimes i'm driving or traveling um, sometimes i'm in a, very weird places just so that I can get my thoughts out to my readers. Sometimes, most times, actually almost all the time, I forget that I'm not always talking to Tammy. It's not always just D. Muhammad or, uh, you know, Brilliantly Bankable. Those are our tribe members. But for the life of me, in my mind, when I'm recording, I'm talking to you guys. I'm talking to Brilliantly Bankable. I'm talking to Tammy. I'm talking to Dee Muhammad. I'm talking to Yanika. Forgetting that there's a whole group of people who know nothing about Hut Wisdom, who know nothing about Elder Eden, who know nothing about Kareem McGee. I forget that, you guys. I'm human. And it allows it to be easier for me to, one, get on camera, and two, to talk to y'all and express myself to you guys. It makes it easier when I can visualize that I'm physically talking to someone that I know. And although I don't know Yanika and I don't know Dee Muhammad, I know them through our tribe, all right? And so uh, the young lady who commented on the Beyonce video said that I was picking Beyonce apart or find something else to do besides picking apart an artist. Let me tell you what we do here on this channel. Now, this is not just for her. This is for anyone who's not familiar with Hot Wisdom and what we do, all right? We're never picking apart anyone. If you go back to my very first video, the video of Chloe Bailey, all right, where people were picking her apart, and as an elder, we stood next to her, and we said, this is a part of growing up. This is a part of femininity also, right? If you know the channel, then you know that we are inclusive all the way around. There's no separation between the saint and the sinners here because we all know that the saints were at least one time a sinner, all right? What we try to do is find the commonality between those who are on a global world stage. So we use Beyonce as a way to identify parts in her that we can see in ourselves. And I made it clear in that video that when I heard the song, it could have been something that I would have wrote, all right? Have I ever murdered anyone? Absolutely not, okay? Um, the dark side of that is the real truth, all right? Um, is that all of us have the capacity to go and be um, vengeful and get into a state of rage? And, and the reason why I say we all have that is because there are studies out there that show that people had a breaking point. That was the whole point of the video, to do three things. One, to show the commonality between someone on a global world stage and ourselves. I even said, take her down from her Beyonce pedestal for just a moment and think of her as the regular girl from around the way. I said that. The second thing that we were trying to do is to um, make it known that you have more in common with your, your parents, your mom and your dad. And I was pointing out that I had more in common with my dad. And so Beyonce and I both share that same similarity, according to the song, if that song was true for her, okay? And I pointed out some of the similarities that I had with my dad, right? And I asked the question, hey, tribe, do you have anything in common with your own dad? That is part of the self-development journey here on this channel, finding the commonalities in others so that we can learn about our own true selves. And the third thing that we were trying to do, and Lord knows, I don't know why this is always this, is to humanize people. Humanize them. That's all. Humanize it so that <laughs> when we understand that the saint has not always been a saint, at some point he was a sinner, right? We elevate no man above the next. And that's important for this channel. It's always been. Now, I hope that makes sense. All right. Until next time. Lord, how long have I been saying this? How many years? Be empowered, be inspired, and be well.